my servant wilderness? How do you consider my servant talent? Have you considered my church of opportunity? Lord, he will. He's able. God said, and Jesus said, that this will, that they will see the glory of God. And I come to tell you tonight, and y'all, last time I was here, God gave me a message. Get ready for the shift. And that was back in 2008. But I come to tell you that whatever you're going through, God said, get ready, because he can shift your situation. Get ready, because God will shift it. It's shout glory. And the Bible said that they took away the stone from the place that he was dead. And Jesus lifted up his heart and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. How many of you are glad here tonight that God hears your prayer? That when you call on the name of the Lord, he answers your prayer. Hell on the name of the Lord. He came through. You were sick in your body. Didn't have no way out. But God, but God came on through. Healed your body. Set you free. So yeah. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, right about the fourth two verse. And I feel some pushing me now. But he said in the fourth verse, and I know that that hurts me always because of the unbelief, these people that stand around me, that they may believe, God is saying I pick you out so I can show forth my glory I pick you out so the Bible said that he beautified me with salvation he beautified me with salvation and the Bible said that when Jesus y'all don't mind if I go and preach now but the Bible said that when Jesus came up up on the sea he came to the tomb he said take away the stone in other words take away the thing that is hindering you from going to the next level I'm taking away the thing that's hindering you from thinking on the next level I'm taking away the thing that is hindering you from going higher in me. But Jesus took away the stone. Jesus took away the stone. I don't know who, what your stone is, but I dare you to say, Lord, take it away. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible said, he that was, was dead came forth. I don't know who I'm talking to, but something has caused you to die. Something has happened to you that's called you to not believe. Something has called you to be dead in your spirit. But tonight, I show up at your tomb by the power of Jesus and say, Lazarus, come forth. Get up and do something. Yeah. Yeah. Look at your name. Tell us no matter how long you've been in it. God is able to bring you out. How many of believe that? How many of believe that God is able to bring you out? But the Bible said that when Lazarus came forth, he came forth, but he was still bound. Some of us have been loose or delivered from the situation, but we're still bound by the circumstance. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. You've been delivered from the marriage or the broken relationship, but because you're still holding on to some of those memories, you're still bound. Y'all ain't gonna help me, but you're still bound. But Jesus said, He looked at him, He said, Loose him and let him go. He said, Loose him and let him go. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but God said he's getting ready to loose you. Anything that's been hindering you, he's getting ready to loose you. He's getting ready to take away that very thing. He's getting ready to tell you. 
day by night, day by day, asking for arms. And Peter and John came on the scene, and they said to the man, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The Bible said that the man got up and he was leaping. I tell you to look at your neighbor and tell him to get up and leap for it. Get up and leap. Leap for it. Whatever you need, leap for it. The Bible said the weapon of our warfare are not caught up. To the pulling down of strongholds. Whatever stronghold that is having you, what is a stronghold? That very thing that's been holding you strong. That very thing that's been keeping you from going to the level that God has called you to. Somebody shall loose me and let me go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But the Bible said that he told them to lose Lazarus and let him go. Well, I found out something. I found out that one thing about God, that they had Lazarus. And when you put them in the tomb, they wrapped them all around. They wrapped your face. They wrapped your mouth. They wrapped your hands. They wrapped your feet. Well, the reason the devil want to wrap your mouth is because he know that when you come in the house of God, you'll cry loud and spare out. He want to bind your hands because he knows that Jesus said, lay hands on the sick and they shall be recovered. So the devil want to keep on bound where he want to bind your feet because Jesus said, I've given you power to tread on God and on the